everybody. I'm Nicole Fecto, the chairman of the Berwick Planning Board, local realtor, and longtime resident. And today I want to talk about how to find out more about parcels of land, whether you are wondering who owns a specific parcel of land or wondering more about what your land is. So there's a few different ways that you can go about doing this. One is if you know the owner's name, you can go on to Vision Appraisal Berwick. So if you just Google Vision Appraisal Berwick, it'll come up and you can do a search right there, pop the owner's name in, it'll show you everything that they own in Berwick and then you can click on each particular parcel. So if there's a, a large um, field behind your house and you don't want it developed and you would like to buy it and protect it from being developed, that's how you would find out who owns it and get in touch with the owner to try to broker a deal. If you have the address of the property, there's a couple of different things you could do. You can also go to Vision Appraisal Berwick and type in the address. Um, you can go to, if you go to the Berwick Main org website and go to property maps there is a link for the GIS and GIS is nice because it's interactive and it brings you to both the tax map so it'll show you the map of the property and then there's generally a link in there that will bring you to the tax card so the tax card shows you who owns the property how much they paid for the property um, the tax map location, so you can look up the tax maps. There's, a few, there's two different ways to look up tax maps in our town. Um, it'll tell you how, what zone the property is in, uh, how many acres it is, and it'll tell you details about the property. Sometimes it'll have a photo, sometimes it will have a layout of the property as well. So a tax map will show you what the approximate lot lines are. Sorry, I have to breathe. <laughs> you should never use um, a tax map for building purposes or for actual lot line purposes. It's an estimate. They are disturbingly um, wrong. And if you really want to know what your tax, um, sorry, what your lot lines are, hire a um, like civil engineer to come out and do a survey. It's worth it. I don't think I've ever done a survey on a property where the lot lines were what we thought they were. They're always wrong. Um, sometimes in your favor, sometimes not in your favor. So, um, so like I said, if you know the owner's name, you can go on Vision Appraisal. You can also cross-reference what you find on a tax card with our land use ordinance chart to find out based on the zone, based on the acreage. You can look at setbacks. You can figure out what a building envelope would be. You could figure out what uses are allowed in that zone. Something else to think about is um, a lot of people are wondering if property around them is protected. So if there's a big field behind your house, is it protected? Is there, um, is there ever going to be development on it? So you could go through this process and on the tax card, you'll find uh, what they call the book and page. The book and page is the reference to the deed. From the book and page, you can go into the York County Registry of Deeds, enter the book and page or enter the owner name and do a search. And um, so, and find the deed. The deed will record any easements. Sometimes an easement is recorded after the fact, so the tax card may not have the latest version of the deed. It has the last purchased version of the deed. This might sound very confusing to you. If you have a particular question about a particular property, I can do this very simply and, and quite quickly, actually, if you just send me an email. Um, but so what you would do in that case is go to the drop down menu on the York County Registry of Deeds, put Berwick in and under the um, grantor or grantee, you can put the person's last name in and it'll pop anything out. And then you would look at the particular deed for the particular land and look and see what easements are on it. An easement or um, basically a restriction on a deed runs forever with that parcel of land. But there are a few different ways to protect land. So one of them is like a conservation easement. Um, there's another thing called tree growth or farmland. And that is not a protection of the land for eternity. A person can pull it out of that program, pay the taxes that they owe on it because they've, they've gotten a discount on taxes for however many years, and then that property can be built upon. And I think that's um, very confusing to a lot of people. So I think it's important to know the difference between a conservation easement and um, other types of protective easements and something like farmland or tree growth which is really just a tax benefit. Um, that is all I have for you today. Any questions about deeds, tax cards, tax maps, anything like that, feel free to send me an email.